In this tutorial, we're going to look at 2D arrays and lists. So before we get started, we're going to review what a list is. Um, we're going to create a my list, and if we remember back to our list tutorial, list is just a list of items that we can put into one variable and we access them by indexes. So for instance, if we do a my list and we'll do 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So now my list is our variable and it contains all of these numbers. And if we remember back to that tutorial, we access these we can access the entire list So just print my list, and we see it prints out the entire list, or we can access each individual component of this list based on the index. Now, I intentionally started with zero because this shows us what the index of each position is. So it starts with zero, this is index one, two, three, and so on. So if I print out my list, bracket zero, it's going to just print out what's in index 0. And I can do that for each one of these. Now notice this one is corresponding to this one up here. So if we say put text in here, and print that out, we can see that we have one here, but it corresponds to the string one, and that's what it prints out. Now let's move into 2D arrays and lists. So the way that looks is, let's just pretend we've got a um, flight school, and we're going to keep up with the hours flown for a few days. So that's our variable, and we start off with our bracket. And with a 2D array, we can skip down, to, and we're going to put these on different lines. So the first day, this particular airplane, let's say, has flown two hours, then two hours, then five hours, then four, then two. So what makes this a 2D array? is now we're going to put another list in the same variable. So our second day, we're going to fly, let's say, 2, 1, 4, 0, and 1. And I'm going to go ahead and create several more. I'm going to pause it here for just a second. Okay, so now we see we have one, two, three, four, five different days. So let's just say Monday through Friday. And notice that I didn't have to put the same number in each of these lists. So this last one, I just put three. So we'll just pretend that the airplane flew three times that day instead of five times. So now we can access these just like we access the list. So print hours flown and we can put the index so we put zero now when we did this with a regular list we got one number when we do this with a 2d array and print this out we see we get index zero which is the in this entire list here so two two five four two and we can do that with all of the indexes we see that we can print out the entire 2D array. So let's look and see how we can print out the entire list singularly, so each number on a different line. So we're going to use a for loop for this, and we'll call for our row 
and for row in hours flown, which is our list, and then we'll set up another for column in row. So for each column in the row, we're going to print the column. And I gotta spell the variable right, column, or excuse me, hours flown. And so we can see, let me put a little break in here so we can tell what's going on here. So this top piece is when we printed them out individually. This bottom piece here, we cycled through all of the rows and all of the columns and printed out the index values one on each column so we see two two five four two that ends our first row our next one starts here two one four zero one and so on so we're gonna keep our list here actually let's get rid of all of this and let's create a 2D array on the fly. So we're going to create a rows and columns. And we'll set our rows to be 3 and our columns to be 5. And we're going to create another variable just call it num and we're gonna cycle through these rows and columns so this num is gonna be set up as a list um, we're gonna start with zero and we'll multiply that by our columns and we'll multiply all of that by our rows and we'll print our num so what that does is that creates three separate rows we can see three here each of the rows have five spots in them so one two three four five and this just allowed us to cycle through so we could see all of the rows and all of the numbers within each of the lists So let's take that away. I'm going to go put back in another 2D array. I'm just going to paste this in here. And we're going to look at one other way to access these things. So if we print out, print our hours flown, and we put two numbers in here. So before we said hours flown one we know that that's going to just print out this this second row here so index one but if we add a second number so we're accessing this set of numbers here and the index out of this one let's say zero one two so when we do it this way we see that our output is four because again this first number is going to set up which row we're looking at. So 0, 1, the second row here. And then this 2 is the index of that set of numbers. So 0, 1, oops, let's set that back. So 0, 1, 2, which is 4. So we can access individual parts of this 2D array by setting up this row and columns. So another thing we can do with our lists is, let's see, we we'll run that out, let's see, four. We can update our list by saying hours flown, and we're going to set one, this first row, and we'll set that to equal 
0, 0, 0, 0, and 0, so all zeros. So now, without changing this print line here, we know that it was 4 as our output, but when we run it again, we see now that it's 0 because it's replaced this list with this one, all zeros. So I hope you can use that. We will do a lot more with these 2D arrays in the future, um, implementing them into our programs. But this is a good start in understanding what a 2D array is and how we can use it.